वन पी एम पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलकम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय असमा हफीज फर्स्ट हेडलाइंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर इनोग्रेटेड न्यूली कंस्ट्रक्टेड हाउसेज फॉर विक्टम्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फ्लड्स इन गजर डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ गिलगित बल्चिस्तान टुडे फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर सेज पाकिस्तान इज मूविंग ऑन पाथ ऑफ सस्टेनेबल इकोनॉमिक स्टेबिलिटी ड्यू टू गवर्नमेंट्स प्रूडेंट पॉलिसीज कश्मीरीज ऑन बोथ साइड्स ऑफ लाइन ऑफ कंट्रोल एंड अराउंड द वर्ल्ड आर ऑब्जर्विंग जम्मू मार्थर्स डे टुडे सेकेंड वन डे इंटरनेशनल ऑफ थ्री मैच सीरीज बिटवीन पाकिस्तान एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया विल बी प्लेड एट एडलेट ऑन फ्राइडे एंड नाउ द न्यूज इन डिटेल Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif inaugurated newly constructed houses for victims of 2022 floods at Babur village in Ghazar district of Gilgit today. On the occasion Prime Minister also announced to build a latest hospital, school and playground in Badudas Babur valley in district Ghazar. Prime Minister who is on a day long visit to Gilgit Baltistan will also inaugurate several development projects in Gilgit including Naltar Expressway greater water supply in Hunza and 54 megawatt hydropower plant in Atabad Finance Minister Mohammad Aurangzeb says Pakistan is moving on path of sustainable economic stability due to government's prudent policies. Addressing 8th edition of Future Summit in Karachi today, he said decrease in current account deficit, increase in remittances, stabilization of rupee and decrease in policy rate clearly indicate that national economy is moving in right direction. Mohammad Aurangzeb said owing to steps taken by government, inflation has decreased from 38 percent to single digit he said short and medium term policies are being put in place to make the national economy sustainable he also stressed the need for reforms in government institutions to ensure transparency control loopholes and take benefit of technological advancements in this regard Planning Minister Hassan Iqbal has expressed determination to fast track completion of IT park in Islamabad enabling Pakistan to compete in global IT sector chairing a meeting in Islamabad today he stressed importance of parallel development strategies to ensure projects accelerated progress setting foundation for a sustainable digital economy in Pakistan Repatriation of Afghans residing illegally in Pakistan is continuing. According to latest statistics, total figure of returnees has reached 7 lakh 99 thousand 208. Oil and Gas Development Company Limited with the support of Special Investment Facilitation Council has discovered natural gas reserves in Khairpur district of Sindh. The well is estimated to produce about 10 million cubic feet of gas per day which will help meet the gas shortage in the country. Apart from this with facilitation of SIFC, OGDCL has also started oil and gas production from discovered reserves in Sanghar district of Sindh. Kashmiris on both sides of line of control and around the world are observing Jammu Martyrs Day today to reaffirm their commitment to the martyrs mission for self-determination. The day commemorates the massacre of hundreds of thousands of Kashmiris by the forces of Dogra Maharaja Hari Singh and Hindu fanatics during the migration to Pakistan in first week of November 1947. The UN humanitarian coordinator for occupied Palestinian territory Mohammad Hadi has appealed for an end to Israeli war in Gaza speaking from Al Mahmoudia school in Gaza city run by the UN agency that assists Palestine refugee he said this is not a place for humans to survive and this is beyond imagination and not cricket The second one international of three match series between Pakistan and Australia will be played at Adelaide on Friday. Australia lead the series by 1-0. The two teams will also play 3T20 matches from 14th of this month. And that's all from the newsroom. For more news and analysis log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com/radiopakistan news official.